Hello and welcome to School Tech HQ. Today we're going to be looking at how we can draw a square or any other shape on Scratch with our sprite. Now, first thing we've got to do once we open up a new session is we can see we've got our sprite here. We'll leave it for now, but you can obviously change this to whatever character you want or whatever sprite you want. To do that, just make sure you click on the Choose Sprite and you can select here from many different options. But we're going to just stick with our cat at the moment. Now, the first thing we're going to need is our events. We're going to go to when green flag clicked and click and drag that over to your sandbox here where you're going to create your code. Now, for this, we need a pen. You can see at the moment we don't have really an option for a pen. We've got motion, looks, sound, events, control, sensing, operators, variables, and my blocks. To get the pen tool, which we're going to be using, we need to click on this purple box down here in the bottom left hand corner. That's adding extensions. And you can see straight away the second extension is pen. So click on that and that will add the extension to your coding palette. Now you'll notice though, if you have accidentally clicked on stage, it will only have erase all. This is how you can quickly know that you're actually selecting the wrong thing right now to code onto. So make sure you're clicked onto your sprite. You have all these options here. Now, first thing we're gonna do when we click the green flag is we're going to put our pen down. So click your pen down, drag it over, and just like a jigsaw piece, attach it on there. After that, we've got our pen down, we need to get it moving to make the square. To do that, we're gonna to go to control, and we're gonna use our repeat here. Now we could use without a repeat, or we could just have it doing, going right, turning 90 degrees, going straight, turn 90 degrees, go straight, turn 90 degrees. We could do that, which would look something like this. So if I got my move, rotate, move, rotate, move and rotate. But if we do that, it's going to be quite a long and messy process. So to make it easier for ourselves, we're going to get rid of all that and just add in a loop here. Now a square has four sides, so we're going to make sure that loop is set to repeat four times because for the four sides. Let me just reset my sprite. Okay, so now that we've got everything ready, we need to add our move. I like to make this 100 steps because that means it's long enough. It'll move a little bit, a fair bit so we can actually see it. Then we need to add our turn. Now, if you think about a square, a square is made up of four right angles, four 90 degrees. So if we're going to move this way, we then need to go down and turn at 90 degrees. So we'll turn 90 degrees to the right, and that's our program. So now we should, if we press the green flag, make a square. And it happens really fast, obviously it's really fast steps, but there you go, there is our square. Now if I move this somewhere else, make another square. And you can keep doing this, add more things, so it just keeps making squares. Now, the problem is though, I only want one square. To change that, all I have to do then is I need to add something in before this pen down. So if I go to my coding palette, I click on pen, this first one here, erase all, we need to add that before our pen down. So that means when we press the green flag, we erase and get rid of anything else that's on the stage, and then we pen down and make our square. So there you go. Now click it. Whenever I move it, it'll only make one square. So there you have it. A really simple way to introduce loops and a way to look at how shapes are formed in a digital environment. Question is, what other shapes could you make? So have some spend some time playing around with these three numbers here and see what other shapes you can make. If you want to, as a little bonus, you want to change the color of your pen, you can change it by adding this. We add in our set pen color to it. We can choose the color we want to go to. I'm going to choose brightness up here. And uh, let's choose a blue, oh, let's choose a red, kind of purpley red. If I want to choose a size for my pen, if I think it's a bit thin and want to make it thicker, I can choose down here a set pen size. Add that in, not the change pen size, but a set pen size and change that to, let's say five, if I click on the green flag, you can see I now have a thicker line. I can go crazy with this. I can make it really thick. And there we have it. Now, if you wanted to make a square, but you don't want to see your sprite, you just wanted to come up with an image, you can go up to looks, scroll down, and you can select hide at the top. So that means when the green flag is clicked, it hides the sprite, 
but it will still make the object. The problem with this though is that you can't see it to move it. So make sure if you're going to edit it again, that you get rid of the hide. If you want to move where it is, click the real flag, and then you can move it somewhere else and just switch those two out. So there you have it, how to make a shape on Scratch.